You know what I want to ask you about um, being a gallerist or being someone who's interested in art and creativity? Um, I think about this a lot in art. I, I draw, I paint um, as a hobby. Um, I have lots of art around. By the way, that's an Elliot Green. I don't know if you see this piece right here. Ooh, that is exquisite. Put that in the link. Too. I will, I it's will. It's such a beautiful painting. Yeah, he has lots of paintings. Uh, or, oh, wow. You should see a lot more of his stuff. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm a lover of art. Yeah. And beauty. And you have a very good eye, I have to say. Well, I, I like what you like. So okay. I think you have a good eye. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I've always thought, though... Do you ever think about the future of the future of art? Like right now, st I, what I call static art, mm -hmm. which is this is a f it's frozen. Yeah, it's an object in the living world. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna I'm going to bring up the the hot button thing of the moment, which mm -hmm. is artificial intelligence. Yeah, right. Um, more and more, I think. In the future, people are going to opt. People won't, especially the younger generation mm. and the attention spans and the need to constantly see something else. Yeah. They're going to want a solution uh, where the... Th imagine how much you click through social media content. Yeah. They're going to want this frame, this picture in a frame mm -hmm. to change. Mm -hmm. And so that they can see something for a day and change. Mm -hmm. They see something for a day. Yeah. This is what I assume... And I, now you have, okay, no, this is, this is actually, let me verbalize this better. In the past, in the, in the birth of modern, modern art, mm -hmm. Picasso, uh, Matisse, all these people who brought in conceptual, uh, Duchamp, mm -hmm. people who brought, up, brought in conceptual uh, concepts to art, mm -hmm. a surrealistic impressionism into just regular um, capture, um, that was provocative at the time mm -hmm. because people expected art to be, it's a landscape. Yeah, and the formalist history that you're referring to, the same thing, yeah. It's, it was the Walt Disney. It's the something people hadn't seen before, yeah. Right. Por like it's portraiture, and now this person is mm. drawing a human that's like mm. this weird shape. And, and I read in the, gal in the um, salons when they would introduce this art, people wrote reviews and said, this work mm. is disgusting. Oh, yeah. No, this we, person... Infuriated people. And infuriated people. Yeah. Because at the time, the technology that was provocative mm -hmm. basically was the, the artist's minds, mm -hmm. their concepts. They're pushing things into different ways. And that technology changed the status quo. Mm -hmm. It seems that the new changing of the status quo today, we've seen it all. Mm -hmm. We've seen surreal. We've oh, seen... God, absolutely. You know, the new thing that's provocative now seems to be artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. right? I, I, or do you agree? What, what do you I, see? I well, like. I mean, I suppose it's. I mean, I know some people. I don't, to be honest, have much. Don't think about it that often. Um, though, I mean, it certainly comes into my vocabulary nearly every day, though. But, um, but, I know people who are terrified of it. Absolutely. Like, totally terrified of it. Especially the younger people, strangely. I think I'm sort of like, oh, well, I've only got another 50 years on the planet. Be okay. Um, whereas, uh, yeah, younger people, it's like, I don't know what's going to happen, what these computers are going to do. And I, the th one thing, though, I, like, and I, I think that's already happening, though, with, like, I mean, NFTs was that s the screen that changes, and, and I completely get that idea. Of, I think it's a great idea. The one thing about artificial intelligence is that I do think as humans we always relate to that physicality and that interconnectedness, which is the spirit of the artist. So... Well, I certainly know I do. Like, I respond to the brushstroke Absolutely. and being able to see that brushstroke. And there's, there's a, it's, a, it's a spiritual connection that I have with the unity with that other human being. And so I don't think, I don't think AI will ever completely take over the visual creation of the world. Uh, but and it was interesting there was that whole thing about that I can't remember his name but was he in Belgium or Germany who won the prize with the AI generated photograph of the 
two sad-looking women who... It was just in the last week, and then he gave back the prize money because he created it completely in AI, and he said it's not fair that I win the best photo when it's not really a photo. Anyway. I'm not familiar with that. Anyway, I'll send you a link for that. Yeah, too. please, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah. No, it is interesting. But, um, yeah, I think it is, it's, it'll be really interesting to see where it goes, and I think we are in that stage where people are freaked out about it because yeah. it's so new, and they just say it's stupid, but I think it will... You know, in time, in very pretty short amount of time, we will see what it is. Have you heard of this, uh, the AI artist uh, Rafik mm-hmm. uh, Anadol? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Sounds correct. Yeah, he is a. I don't know what you call these people. I mean, he's an artist, mm-hmm. but he uses machine learning. He uses AI. Mm-hmm. Um, he he inputs into his algorithms all of these these different variables of you know, temperature and weather and all But he, you saw what he did with the Walt Disney um, concert hall mm-hmm. where he projected mm-hmm. on, onto it and everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think he's showing at Jeffrey. It's, it's always... Is it, I know, is it Deutsch or is it Deutsch? I always get this confused. Is it Deutsch or is it Deutsch? Tanya knows. <laughs> it's Deutsch. It's Deutsch. Yeah. No, no matter how many times people tell me it's Deutsch, <laughs> on the next conversation I will be on the fence. Deutsch, Deutsch. 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 Anyway, it's Deutsch. I once told somebody, uh, Deutsch is, Deutsche is um, German. Yeah. Deutsche Bank. Uh, I once embarrassingly told my accountant, hey, you should look into uh, Douche Bank. <laughs> Douche Bank. It's Deutsche German. Um, yeah, this guy's showing at Deutsch right now, mm-hmm. actually. Yeah. No, he is, yeah. I'm going to go see it. Yeah. I, I definitely see this as being the future generations um, but you know what you're right I think H- human to human mm-hmm. and AI can never I suspect replace this organic magical mysterious thing which is a human uh but also, too, like, say, for instance, painting. Like, people forever, ever since minimalism, conceptual art came into play and Duchamp, you know, before those, people have been saying that paint is dead. Like, that's what people say every year. Like, painting's dead. And I just don't think it ever will be because, again, just the materials that are used to make a painting are these minerals from the earth then used with like an oil from a tree and then a, the water from a whatever and the sap of a... And these are all these elements that we're all connected to. And, and as you know, because I also make my own work as well. And so I, like, I know like the, the joy of using oil paint. Like it's like this. You, so you paint? I do, I paint. Okay, yeah, right. I don't get that much time to do it. But I know when I do, like oil paint has this like alchemy that it's almost like it's painting for you. It's like there you is get something in, to that. Yeah, you're in this sort of, whereas AI you have to, well, Actually, probably no. I suppose algorithms and it's also doing it for you. But there's, yeah, there's this, this, and I think people feel that and experience that when they see an artwork that's made by a human being, who's that human being is on the planet, and they have had their forefathers and foremothers, like generations and generations of power building up, coming out in someone's hand onto a piece of cloth, and I think that's. I believe in that, you know. Like, I have no scientific backing for that, but that's my take. No, on that's it. a hell of a that's a hell of a, a theory on it. That's a hell of an explanation. What can to be, basically, essentially, how do you pl- replace humanity? 